In this video, we are going to talk about National Occupation Standards for Security System Installation Technician. There are four National Occupation Standards for Security System Installation Technician. They are, the first one is Install and Commission Electronic Security System. Second one is Identify and Repair Faults in Security System. Third one is Use Basic Health and Safety Practices in Electrical and Electronics Work. Fourth one is Work Efficiently in a Team. NOS 1 Install and Commission Electronic Security System This consists of Customer Handling Prepare to Install and Commission Security System Carry out Equipment Installation Connect Cables Appropriately Test and Commission Security System Post Installation Activities The range of security systems are CCTV Surveillance Access Control Systems Fire detection and alarm system, intruder alarm systems. Now let us see how to install CCTV surveillance system, access control system, burglar and fire alarm systems. After visiting to the client's place, we have decided to put a bullet camera. Now let me tell you what all the equipments we require to install a bullet camera. First of all, we will require a digital video recorder then a cutter, different sizes screwdriver, a power supply and a cable. The cable is connected with a BNC connector. Now let me show you how do we connect the cable with a BNC connector. This is a coaxial cable with a pair of DC supply wires. We connect the BNC at both the ends of the wire. This is a coaxial cable stripper. We peel the cable from it. We peel the ends of the wire to connect it to a BNC connector. After peeling, we observe a main cable and other three sub cables. Hence this wire is known as 3 plus 1 cable. The main cable which is bigger in diameter is used to insert in the BNC connector. When peeled the main cable, we observe the shield around it which is removed and twisted separately. The core is connected to the BNC. The shield is wrapped at the terminal of the BNC. We cover the terminal with the insulation tape for safety precautions. This is how a BNC is connected and this is used for transfer of the video. The other sub cables are used for power. This is a power pin connector, which is connected to the power cable. We peel both the power cable and the power pin connector. This both are connected and tape is wrapped around them. This is used to supply power to the CCTV camera. This is how we connect the connectors to the CCTV cable and we repeat the same process for the other end of the cable. Once the BNC is connected to the both the end of the cable, the cable looks like this. For the camera end, the cable looks like this. And for the DVR end, the cable looks like this. Now we first connect the cable to the DVR. Once the BNC is connected, the power cable is connected to the power supply. Now the other end of the cable is connected to the camera. First we connect the BNC to the BNC port. And then we connect power pin to the power pin port in the camera. Now we connect monitor to the digital video recorder using a VGA or HDMI cable. Power adapter of the DVR is connected to the DVR.
As we can see the output of the camera on the monitor, the products are in the working condition and can be installed at the site. After visiting the client, we understood it requires the password based access control system. Now let me show you the equipments required for installing a password based access control system. The equipments are a magnetic door lock, an access control, a power supply, a cutter, different sizes screwdriver, multimeter, insulation tape, and a CAT5 or CAT6 cable. Now let me show you how to install an access control system. In this, we are going to see the installation of a standalone access control system with magnetic door lock and an exit switch. Behind the access control system, there are two ports for connectors. We connect the wires to the connector ports. We use a multi-stand wire to connect the access control to the power supply, EM lock and exit switch. We peel the cable with the help of cutter or wire peeler. One pair of the cable is connected to the power supply and access control. This is used to supply power to the device. The other pair of cable connects the exit switch and the access control. And the third pair of the cable connects the access control and the EM lock. The joints of the cable are wrapped with the insulation tape for safety purpose. The red light on the EM lock indicates that it is active. An exit switch is used whenever a person wants to leave the room. Now let us see how to install a fire detection and alarm system. The equipment required are a fire panel, a sensor, cutter, tester, multico wire and a hooter. This is a smoke sensor or a detector. The connections of it are given to its base. This is the smoke detector base. It has four ports. That is L1 in, L1 out, L2 and earth. This is a resistor. The power connection of the panel is given to the transformer. We use two core wire to connect the smoke detector to the panel. In the panel, we connect the wire in zone 1 or port 1. The other end of the cable is connected to the base. Positive wire is connected in L1. and negative is in earth. All the smoke detectors are connected in series. For the second smoke detector, the input are from the output of the first detector that is taken from L1 out for positive and earth for negative. A resistor is connected to the last sensor or detector in series. The smoke detectors are connected to the base. There are four different zones in this fire alarm panel. Now we connect the detectors in zone 2 or port 2. Detectors are connected in the same way in another zone or port.
Now we connect Hooter to the panel in the Hooter zone or port. This is how we connect a 4 zone conventional fire alarm in series. We connect the intruder alarm in the same way with different sensor or detectors. NOS2 Identify and Repair Faults in Security System This consists of Customer Handling Work Safely Prepare Place to Perform Maintenance and Determine Fault Repair Faults or Replace Components Post Repair Activity Please come in. Hi. Yeah, Mr. Arthay. Yeah. Sir, I'm from the, please thank you. I'm from the CCTV company, sir. You have called up yesterday. Correct. So um, my CCTV camera is not working and the display is not being shown. Okay, okay. The camera's displays are not showing. Yeah. What will I do? I'll send my technician tomorrow so he can fix your problem. Is okay. it that fine? Yeah, yeah, that's sure. That's the only problem, sir? Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, yeah, Tushal. My uh, CCTV camera problem is solved. Your technician has solved the problem. Uh, thank you so much. And if there's anything else, I'll let you know. NOS 3 Use basic health and safety practices in electrical and electronics work. This consists of health and safety, fire safety, emergencies, rescue, and first aid procedures. Healthcare and safety is very important while installing a security system. We use helmet, safety shoes and safety gloves while installing. A technician should always carry a first aid box while installing. NOS 4. Work effectively in a team. This consists of work effectively with others. Sir, all the cameras have been installed and are working. The client is happy with the integration. Sir, work at this site has been completed. What do you ask me to do next? Is there any other installation or do you want me to come back to office?